sort of like cutting glass almost. You score this a few times until it, it's in a place where it'll snap. <laughs> So you can explain the chocolate again? What okay, kind? Okay, so what Claudio Corallo does is, first of all, he grows a very fine bean in a tropical environment, but he ferments them, he toasts them, and then he grinds them in a cold bin with a rock that's very smooth until it, it actually melts into something you can pour into a form. But as opposed to what we would call conching in commercial cocoa chocolate production, they're adding heat. His heat just comes from the friction of turning the stone oh, wow. on, the on the cocoa beans. So um, this is much closer to being a natural product. It's, it never, never gets too terribly hot. So, in a few years, it'll become commonly accepted knowledge that when you're trying to show off to the public a young Cabernet Sauvignon that has very tough tannins, most people won't be able to get to the flavors that are being hidden for the next few years until they have some melted strong chocolate on their palate, and that'll help them break through and say, yeah, I know what this is worth now. It's not a big question mark hanging over my head. And so when we move on to the top end of this flight, they're going to put us into a 2008 Girard Zinfandel port, or this 2008 Girard Old Wine Zinfandel. We're going to see a real difference. That's what we're on right now. Right. We're going to see a real difference in what we're tasting. We're going to, we're going to appreciate this Girard wine that much more for having done it. So that's why we do it. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, well, so take a little sip of your wine and then melt a little bit of this chocolate on your palate. Let me watch you do it first okay. to get on video. So, so I'm going to get a little benchmark taste of how this this wine gets my palate. Got it. And I'm going to take what I think is maybe about 30 or 40 milligrams of chocolate, pure chocolate. I'll let it melt on the back of my palate. with this little bit of 35 or 40 milligrams of chocolate. Then I'll be ready to take a second taste of this right wine. And for me, I think it has, as you too have seen, you're getting to taste many more of the flavors that are hidden in the wine. This is a pretty fantastic wine that we're getting. Was that a good pairing? And the chocolate? Yes. So why don't you go for it? I'm going to try.